All right, hello, ladies and gents. This is your boy Big Dog again with another video. Uh, this one here, uh, this is a Y sustain board or Y main from a Samsung 64 inch plasma. Okay, uh, one of the newer plasmas, excellent TV, love plasmas, very vivid, vivid picture, love them all. Uh, the model number of this Samsung is a P. N 64 E 533 and the rest is the uh, suffix so you know the D 2 F X Z A you know that one uh, this board is also used in a lot of other various uh, Samsung 64 inch plasmas uh, as long as it begins with P N 64 E you kind of figure that this they use is pretty much the same board and basically this is a common problem with this board it's going to be a, like a quick uh, right to the point video. Um, but basically what happened with this TV here is I actually, uh, they had some short effects on the power supply board. The TV was dead, okay. Uh, once I got that in there, um, what happened was, uh, and, it, and the customer did, was, was honest with me and said that that was the original problem before the TV went totally dead, is that sometimes the TV will come on, uh, as far as, well, the TV will come on as far as hitting the butt, the power button, and it makes that little doo -doo 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 but there was absolutely no picture okay the light the little red light was flashing you know it was powering up but there was absolutely no picture and in most cases you will have sound with a black screen uh... so basically all it is is just um... oh first of all let me give you the part number on this board here okay this is a uh... LJ uh... 920196A or you can use the LJ41 number uh, doesn't matter. Uh, but the problem with this set is um, it's actually this uh, Y sustain board. And how you can double check that is, um, of course, when the board is plugged into the TV and you go to power it up, uh, you will see your VS voltage. I think it's one of these pins up here. I'm not sure. It is labeled either here on the power or, or on the power supply board. Okay. The VS will come up to approximately 218 where it's supposed to be, and then you will see it jump down. It will slowly start going down 210, whatever. And then uh, all you have to do, instead of unplugging that plug, just unplug this plug here. This is your ribbon connector cable. Un disconnect, unclip that, pull that out. Okay, that's going to the main logic board. Unplug that. Put your meter back on your VS. Okay. Turn it on, and it will come up and stay there, okay? If it does, immediately turn the set off, unplug it. You know the problem is on that particular board, okay? So, here is our problem here. And, let's see if I can zoom in pretty good here. It is these three little capacitors. That's it. Um, there, are, there is also a 60 inch with the same problem. The board is a little different, which means it's, it's uh, orange instead of this green color. It's the regular Samsung. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the orange color, like the, something like this color here. You know, um, also has the same problem. And what the problem really is, is there's a chip underneath here that drives this transformer. And evidently these capacitors cannot um, hold, will not hold up. Okay. Um, on the other board, the chip is located close, closer to the top up here. It's on, the, it's on the top of the board on the 60 inch set and you can recognize that chip because it looks just like a DC to DC chip it is a 8 pin chip and it has one leg missing I'm actually going to flip this over so you can see okay Okay, here is the chip. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Here are the capacitors right here. And here is the chip right here with the little so-called slab of... <laughs> I looks like a slab of concrete on top of it. And it's supposed to be for a heat sink. Uh, on the 60-inch on the sets, you can recognize it easily from the top because they don't use that heat sink. I guess they tried to improve this set and put that little heat sink on top. Uh, but, uh, nah, it won't work. Uh, first of all, make sure that it has no bad connections around on these pins. In some cases, uh, this chip is bad, I heard. I never came across a bad chip. All I did was we saw the connections around it and changed these three capacitors next to it. And that's it. And what you can, when you change these capacitors, uh, what you can use is... Ten mics at 50 volts. Electrolytics. Okay? You just have to figure out which side is ground. Okay, so pretty much all we did here was took our negative side of our leader of our uh, meter and I'll uh, put it to one of the ground screws where the ground screws go in to mount the board and we'll just go put it on continuity and we'll just go uh, to each side and see which one of those sides are ground on that capacitor on those capacitors It's always in the way, aren't they? Okay. Ideally, not that side. We'll go to the bottom here. There you go. Okay. So we know that the bottom going toward going toward the IC is ground, and that way we'll just put our negative side on ground. Now this here board uh, is a little different from that orange board. Uh, it is much thicker on that orange board if they're using the 60 inch you can unsolder from the bottom and you know and put the new capacitors in fairly easy uh, it's the same way just find out which side is ground and just replace them but on this one here we're gonna do something different because this is a double-sided or triple or triple layered board whatever, whatever they call it and so obviously um, this board is much thicker and it's gonna be a little bit harder to get out get out with your soldering iron and your um, your, or solder wick or solder suck or whatever you use. But I'm gonna, this, this is how simple this is going to be. Check this out. All I'm going to do, I'm getting a situation here, is I'm just going to take my where you at? Take my wire cutters and just clip them off. That simple. So you got a capacitor, short it up a little bit, just cut the leads, sort of even. And I'll put it about maybe like this here. Give it enough room so you can give yourself enough room. Don't cut all the way down to the end because you're not gonna have enough room to solder it on there, okay? So just I'm gonna say about right here, about midway, okay? Cut those off. Negative. Once again, it's going toward the IC. So make sure that we put our negative side right there. And just put some solder on there and solder them on there. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, so a lot of you guys are going to say, well, I want to see you do it. I don't know how to do it. Okay, well, let's see. Let me get my glasses here. Um, get my solder. Put some solder on here. Hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> well, see my work. I don't want you to see me, but at least see my work here. See what I'm doing here. Negative side goes toward the IC.
That's it. Voila. Do the same thing for the other two. All right, you probably can't see the value on these old capacitors. This is one I took from, from another, um, a bad one from another board. Um, it does say one zero and one zero five, which is like ten microfarads or whatever. So, pretty much same deal. Just you can you can use electrolytic. So, like I said, make sure that all of your um, all of your grounds are correct. Uh, of course, I'm just doing this for testing purposes. I know somebody's going to give me a comment saying, "Oh, that looks that looks." Uh, uh, ugly. Uh, it's, it's not neat enough. Uh, uh, put bring the solder down some or whatever. How whatever makes you uh, um, satisfy with your work. How you do it. Now you can cut them shorter if you want to. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know you can start on this one, which is probably easier to start on doing this first one right here. Start there and then do that one and then do that one or whatever, you know, you know, make it look nice and neat. Make sure they're not touching or there's no shorts between the legs. And definitely make sure that they are not broken by the time you get to the customer's house because a lot of times I'll put it in, you know, you can put stuff in the bag or whatever and then we take it out as like, you know, something pressed up against it or whatever. One of the legs came loose. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Pretty much it, guys. So um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure that you uh, do subscribe, uh, subscribe button below, and uh, God bless, and uh, Big Dog is out.